I'm Rob Stokey, the Director of Instruction at the Golf Club of Georgia. One of the things I see most common amongst the amateurs that I work with is the inability to get the ball up and down around the green. They waste a lot of shots when they could really be saving a lot of shots. You've hit a couple good shots up, you're right around the green. Uh, a lot of times I'll see a player chunk a ball or, or blade a ball across the green, uh, costing them shots that they should be able to get up and down. So today what I'm going to do is, is show you a really easy tip that you can take right to the golf course. What happens to a lot of people is they put all their weight on their front foot, which is a good thought, and they sit up there and then they, they hang back and try to help it. Their upper body moves away from the target, which causes the club to bottom out behind it. That sends it screaming across the green or just a couple feet in front of them. So what I want you to do is, is go ahead and take your normal, fundamentally sound chipping setup to where the ball's middle to slightly back, uh, a lot of weight on the front foot. But then what I want you to do is when you're in your downswing, I want you to try to see if you can get your nose to be slightly closer to the target at impact than it was at address. Now this really isn't going to happen. It's just going to let your weight shift a little bit more into that front foot. So I want you to set up there, uh, wherever your nose is at address, I want you to see if you can make it just a little bit closer to the target at impact. It should help you compress the ball just a little bit. It should hop up, have a little bit of check, and roll out.